Well, howdy, everybody. Welcome to the show and down to the G2 Ranch in South Texas. For today, we're going to show you some of the best dove hunting in the world. Plus, we got a mixed bag of exotics coming up, and y'all are going to love today's show. Welcome to the G2 Ranch, everybody. Got him. Woo! Coming out of the brush. He's huge. When you come out here, there literally is no telling what you're going to find. So a couple of years ago, there was talk down in South Texas about there's this crazy couple that was building a ranch that was just over the top, and they were crazy. That is Maddie, this is Sandy. And there's Don. He, he, Don does a little bit of everything around here. I mean, they're building it in Pierce Hall, Texas, and so I came down here and took a look at it, and I thought, the old saying, if you build it, they will come, is honestly the truth, because Don and Sandy built the G2 Ranch. And if folks are finding out about it, they're coming in a big way. When you come to the G2 Ranch, everything about this place is different. I hit the ball! Don and Sandy, the owners, are amazing. They're hands-on owners. They don't just out of sight, out of mind. They're with us all day, every day. They eat every meal with us. They hang out. They sing outside with us. And it's just very heartwarming to see them interact with all of their guests because you can see that they really love this. They're not doing this because of the money. They're doing it because they love seeing the smiles on people's faces that hunting and the outdoors can bring. Thank y'all very much. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so happy. <laughs> they say that in a few minutes from now, it's going to look like Argentina. 80 acres of sunflowers, and uh, there are millions of little sunflower seeds out here, and the doves are going to be in here big time. So they've got this sunflower field they planted specifically for the dove hunters. And if you take a look out across that sunflower field, I mean, the sunflowers are great big, great big, and they're kind of laid over and they're dried up, and there's millions and millions of seeds. And so what happens, they spend the night in Pearsall in the morning, they wake up and they're hungry. So they come to the sunflower field. Don and Sandy have everybody waiting for them. All right, so with over 100 people hunting, safety is the number one concern. And so what they've done is they've taken round bales and put them out here, spread them out so the hunters can actually get stationed at a hay bale. They've got numbers painted on them and hunters will get stationed. And that's where you're supposed to stay put, around the hay bale. And the cool thing about dove hunting to me, it's, it's, it's really not dove hunting, it's dove shooting when you come to G2 Ranch. It's a, it's a social activity. I mean, you're going to see husbands and wives and their kids and grandkids and occasionally see somebody bring a dog out here. and. And you're going to see people uh, talking and having fun because that's what it's about. It's about having fun. So it's not a real serious hunt, but it's a real serious shoot. And I guarantee you, it's a lot of fun. Got him. Woo! All right, so we just concluded the safety talk, which is probably the most important thing that goes on today. And uh, now it's time to head out and go kill some birds. Let me tell you something. If you like to shoot doves, even if you don't like to shoot doves, you gotta go down here. Because after you spend just one afternoon down here at the G2 Ranch, you're gonna go from eh, maybe being lukewarm on dove hunting to being hot to trot, because the G2 Ranch has got some of the best dove hunting in the world. Got him. Nice. 
place. Oh, God, dang, that was amazing. Look at him right here. Cut back around, cut back around. Nice. Here we go. Crap. I'll tell you what, they'll humble you right quick. Just when you think you're getting good. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. There you go, coming out, coming out. Oh, a boy. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put some Lucas CLP on here. This is a brand new shotgun, and sometimes an action on a brand new gun can be tight, tight, should be. Sweet, let's kill some more doves. Boom! Nice! That's a good one. There we go. Right here, Don, right above you. Oh! oh! <laughs> that was a sky buster job there. Never been to Argentina, but no need to go there when you come to the G2 Ranch. Boom! <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's great! He brought it to mom. Wow! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh! Oh, you almost caught that one. Almost. See, look, hold on, hold on, no, hold on, don't, look at this. Did you hurt yourself? No, yeah, I think it flung on me. That's the mark okay. of a good dove hunter right there. <laughs> so close the blood splatters on you. <laughs> get ready, get ready. It's getting right now, girls. Yeah! That was good. Yo, coming out, coming out. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. Safe, you can fly over me now. I mean, there's no worries now. I'm done. <laughs> what do you say? Here you go, Zip. Get in there and get a bird. Don, thank you. Thank you, and thank you all uh, after the break. We're gonna do something a little bit different. The weather's changing, we're gonna switch gears. And we're going to go after some exotics right here at the G2 Ranch. Stick around. Right now it's September, and although deer season doesn't start in Texas until around the 1st of October, uh, it's always season for hunting exotic animals, and that's what the G2 Ranch is really well known for, is offering some of the best exotic hunting in the world. There's a lot of great benefits of hunting exotics in Texas. One, you're helping with conservation. A lot of these species were hurting in their numbers, and now that you can hunt them in Texas, their populations are thriving. There are a lot of animals here. They've got a ton of different species of exotics, but I've got my eye set on one specific species, which is Axis. Axis are gorgeous. If you just look at them, their coats are beautiful. They've got great horns, but they're also really tasty and difficult to hunt. All right, first stop is the range, and I'm really excited because this is the first time I've hunted with this rifle. It's from APF. It's an AR-10 in a 6.5 Creedmoor, which is my favorite round. I just think it's perfect for spreading out and getting longer shots. I'm shooting a 130 grain bullet. This is from Sierra, which Sierra's always made bullets, but now they have a line of ammunition, and this is the game changer. But right now, we're going to load up and shoot down range and make sure that we're still on. Perfect. Now that I'm 100% confident in my effective range, I'm ready to head to the stand. So I get Glenn and I can't wait to see what we're gonna see. My name is Glenn Halley and I'm the ranch manager at the G2 Ranch down here in Pearsall, Texas. What we plan on doing is trying to find an axis, you know, 30 inches or better, 30, 35, anywhere's around there, but they're, they're just a challenging hunt. Glenn and I are gonna sit tight. It's afternoon, we have a nice little breeze and hopefully they're gonna show up.
Wait, there's another one behind it. Hey, Patty, he's not a real big one. That axis right there is probably going to go 27, 28 inches. And I know we have bigger. Yeah, let's wait. There's an axis right here to the left. Let me see him. He's got a broken main beam. He's beautiful. See the body movement? Yeah. See how they're squaring off? Man, that one sure is bad. Isn't he? He's still going. Coming out of the brush. That one's a shooter. He's huge. He's walking. Yeah, we could take him. He's got to stop, though. Stay on him. Okay, here it goes. What? That was it. Nice shot. That was it. Nice shot. That was it. That was a good shot. Thank you. Oh, oh my He's gosh. Awesome. Right in the brink of time, too. Man, it's just, I thought we weren't going to get it done because it's getting dark. I know. That was awesome. Well, thank you. I'm beyond thrilled. All right, here he is. This axis. We did not think we were going to get him tonight. <laughs> we didn't. No, I mean, we, we saw a ton of movement, but everyone that came in, one had a broken beam, and then... Another, he was too little, and then we got footage of some fighting and kind of sparring, and right before dark, this guy showed up, and he's absolutely beautiful. He's gonna taste phenomenal, and I just have to give a big thank you to G2 Ranch because I couldn't have done this without them. So thank you very oh, much. You're quite welcome. You I did mean, a great job. You put a, a really good shot on him. Well, you're my lucky charm. <laughs> I mean, seriously. And this 6.5 Creedmoor, I'm super impressed with this round. I've always loved it but I've never shot it in an AR-10 platform. So I gotta thank APF for that and I'm just thrilled. I can't wait to get back and show my dad this and celebrate a great hunt with y'all. That's awesome. Thank you Lord for this and thank you G2 Ranch. What do you think about the place? Perfect. He's, that guide is like top notch. Yes he is. Seriously. Everything here is. Hey, hello, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I got lucky. No, it's a little more than luck. <laughs> Thank you. G2 Ranch is heaven on earth for any hunter. I mean, there's nothing that you can't love. The lodge is phenomenal. There's a golf course. <laughs> they play music. Are you having fun here out there tonight? But the best part that money can't buy is the people. The people are incredible. You just feel like you're instantly at home and like your family as soon as you walk in the doors. So I'm I'm very happy. I can't stop smiling. I feel like I'm gonna start twitching soon. That's good. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful trophy. Wouldn't happen anywhere else. So awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, I will. So last night we had a, uh, it was a big night. Maddie wound up taking a really nice axis buck. She's been hunting for one for a long, long time and then had some nice music and fellowship and, uh, and today's a special day. And we're going out right now to look for Oryx, but what's really special about it is Glenn's birthday. Oh, thanks, <laughs> he didn't know I knew that. But anyway, <laughs> we're going out for Oryx right now and see if we can get this 50 BMG uh, to bark for you. So come on. What do you think of that light big rifle? <laughs> She's a heavy old girl. I got it. You got it. Spray yourself down with that if you don't mind. The wind's good though. The 50 BNG, I have to admit that's the first time I've ever guided anybody with that type of rifle. Well, the problem with Oryx is the fact that they have unbelievable vision and they're herd animals. They've got a really good sense of smell. The wind is perfect right now, but when this really thick brush using this as cover to be able to hopefully close the distance within shooting range, the problem is they've got so many eyes looking that it may be hard to get a shot. This is a finger right here, and they're on the other side of this finger. I'm hoping to quietly go through that finger, and they're gonna be on the other side of these trees. The wind is perfect, and they are less than 100 yards away. This thick brush has concealed us. The issue right now, the bulls and cows look the same because the cows have got orange. 
So Glenn is trying to see if there's a nice bull in there. The one in the back's a male. They're right off that little hump. What do you think? We can just back out. Come back out and walk down that wood line there, that finger. Hopefully we can pop out over here and look down at them. Oh, this looks really good. Really good. If they show up here, they're going to be in trouble. There you go. What is that, Glenn? Okay, here, here comes a cow. Well, if that was a bull, I could bust him for sure. Okay, here comes another one. Here's a bull. That's a bull? That's a bull right there. Okay, here we go. 90 yards. Here he goes. He just dropped them. What <laughs> you say there? <laughs> Holy smokes, look at that. There's no track in that one. No, back by popular demand is a 50 BMG. <laughs> Let's go see what we got. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this bull right here. Wow. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. Look at Look at that hole. Thank you. Man, that was fun. That was a good stalk, man. Yeah, it was a good stalk. <laughs> we wound up uh, kind of plagued with some bad weather this morning. I mean, down here in South Texas, it doesn't rain much. But uh, the one thing about the G2 Ranch, this is like a mecca for a place for exotic animals. It is a hunting resort. I mean, truthfully, I mean, everything Beautiful. is first class from, from the owners to the guide, to the chef, to everything, no matter where you live, 12 months a year, you can hunt right here at the G2 Ranch. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching, and we'll see you next time. We're going to call the truck, and we'll get this guy loaded up, and we're going to grab Maddie, up. and we're going to head back to San Antonio. Right on. Thanks again, awesome Glenn. Awesome hunt. Awesome hunt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Deja 50, vu, huh? 50 BMG struck again. Oh, yeah. I'm super lucky that I get to do what I love for a living, which is hunting but I also get to do it with my dad. And a lot of people aren't that fortunate. Beautiful. So was it worth coming down here? Absolutely, I've had a great time. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, I've had a great time too. It saddens me to leave. It saddens me to know that, you know, I don't know when the next time I'm gonna wind up coming through these gates is gonna be, but I'm coming back. You know, in every hunt, there's the best part and the worst part. And it's really hard for me to come up with the best part of this hunt because everything was over the top and phenomenal and just made my heart genuinely happy. But I know the worst part, and that's that I have to leave. You're a part of a family, and everyone around you loves hunting and loves God and just loves this life that we were given. So I will be coming back, and I hope that this is a new family tradition for us. If you're thinking about hunting exotic animals, or hunting white-winged doves. You know, I encourage you to come down here because you'll be back too. And you'll see what I've seen and what hundreds of other people that have been down here have seen, that when you come and you're a guest here with Don and Sandy Gilchrist, you're gonna become family and you'll wanna come back too.